it will, it will flow and it will feel natural. Because at the I moment, feel like I should cover on my feet because like, it feels This could be paid content further down the line, couldn't it? Yeah. What could? My feet. Do you want to see my baked potato toe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the f? <gasps> Where's the nail? Where'd it go? How? Baked potato? How? What happened? Lion. <laughs> Took a <them> right off. <laughs> I said that to him um, when I was in Cambodia because all the kids like run after you because you're foreign. <laughs> and I had flip flops on. And they were like, oh my god, what happened to your toes? Like, lion, mate. <laughs> See it. Let's have them removed, for God's sake. <laughs> That's incredible. It's not. It's really not. I missed them. <laughs> you missed them? Yeah, I was, I, Do you feel like you lost a part of yourself that Yeah, day? I was attached to them. <laughs> could, could we sell these as an <laughs> NFT? You could. Yeah, probably. I'm sure there's a market. I, I, I was awake they used to call me Hose Toes at school. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they used to call you that? Because my name's Hosey and they you're, knew you're I toesies. had my toe now as okay. well. And I, I used to- Oh, I thought this was like a recent thing. At school. At school. 15 years ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome along everyone. Horticulture Challenged. I'm James, your host. Awful host, but I'll get used to it. We'll, 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 we'll get there. Don't panic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Max. Sorry. My glorious co-host. Yeah. It's gonna be about him. We'll, yep. we'll put all the pressure on him. The ultimate goal is yep. to get him on Gardener's World. But why? Why not? Sheer entertainment. And let's face it. He knows nothing about Gardener's World. No, no, that's true. He knows I, I hadn't heard of it until yesterday evening. Or even, at, no, this morning. I can't remember. I don't know. Do you know who Monty Don is? What, I've, heard, I've heard the legends. <laughs> what do you think of when you hear the word Monty Don? I think of um, Monty Python, but I haven't actually watched Monty Python either. So it's just like a, a void that would have once been a glorious man, I assume. Do you know who Alan Titchmarsh is? No. Okay. We're doing a horticultural podcast <laughs> with somebody who knows pretty much. Well, I mean, to be fair, we've only named two TV presenters. Do you know anything about plants? I know. No. <laughs> No, okay. not really. So you work at a a plant nursery. I do. I do. Um, How long have you worked there for? Oh, you know, just just I've been about the area. I've been. You've been about the area. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. Oh. So man, when did you start? When did I you started start working there? at a plant nursery in July of this year, which is 2022. So no, you've only not been July. there no. a number of days. <laughs> We've really made friends with you quick, haven't we? <laughs> You fitted in right, right away. <laughs> I knew I was gonna crumple in front of a camera. I, I joined Wolberton Nursery back in the summer of 89, and what a glorious time that was. Summer of 89. Yeah. I wasn't even born then. Me neither. No. <laughs> I was there in spirit. <laughs> was Bex with an X working Bex there? Oh no, we're not allowed to use names. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm sure my mother won't. Sorry, Bex, mine. yeah. <laughs> With an X. <laughs> With an X. Well, I joined a nursery at around the end of January this year. Yeah. And I've learned many a thing about plants, such as... You put yourself under pressure there, because uh, now you've got a list yeah, of them. Yeah, now I have the list of them, now I don't really... I can't think of any. What jobs do you do at the nursery? Oh, what jobs don't I do? This, this is exactly why I love working in this industry, because... Well, I can tell you for one, you don't do any trials. I don't do any trials. Ruined. Yep. Yep. And I'm sure you will never let me forget that until I'm a blood sacrifice. So when are you planning to be sacrificed? Um, well, that's the beauty of it, because I have no idea. It could be within the next three minutes, three days. Boy. Clarinet. Clarinet. Yeah. Who it isn't representative but of, of a natural person that works in trials and yeah. is the trials coordinator. Um, gravity defying hair. Yep. Yeah, that's the that's a key feature. Yeah. I can't stop staring at her. You're not, you're looking at the back of her. That's I am, but I can still see. I can still I can see through. They're okay. seeing through me. So what other things do you do at the nursery? Um, so apart from not being in trials, what did you do when you first started? I, I, I mainly well to get a feel for the for the, for the showbiz of, of the industry. Showbiz, shall is a good we say. Word. Thank yeah. you. I, I was actually quite proud of that. We got started on some trimming and some weeding, um, cool. which is a necessary part yeah. of plant life growth, death and decay, but mainly to revitalize and, you know, germinate. Is germinate the right word? 
I don't know because you haven't followed it up yet. <laughs> so where are we going now? No, I don't know. That was about all I had. What's up, everyone? My name's Max. Some people call me d- You are new to the horticultural industry. I am. You have recently applied for an apprenticeship. I have. Because it's something you want to see through. It is, yes. You want a career in the industry. And that's really good because you don't get many young, willing... Willing's the right word. Yes. We're willing young. workers within the horticulture. Do you feel there's uh, too many old people in horticulture? Like Monty Don. Like Monty Don. I believe that a young and sprightly workforce is good for any sort of industry, as it you know allows the, the the tips and tricks that have been taught to the younger generation to be moved on and passed on to, to the next generation and the next. How do you feel about working with older people? Is it something you're used to? Um, not per se used to, considering it's one of my first jobs. It is quite nice to have such a diverse group of people to talk to and understand parts of their life in terms of horticulture and... Learn from. Learn from, yeah. yeah. Expand my, my knowledge pool, shall we say. Mm -hmm. um, which is another reason why I like working in the industry, is because there is such a diverse group of people. And the vast majority have an active interest in, the hor in, in horticulture, in growing. Many will be growers at home, fruit, veg, allotments, gardens. Behind the camera is producer Meg. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Oh, was that it? That was oh, it. Oh, okay, oh. moving on. Oh, no. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I've been working in horticulture for a year and a half. Before that, I was collecting houseplants for about five, six years. Uh, not that that actually really overlaps with much, to be honest. <laughs> doesn't quite prepare you for working in horticulture. Certainly not hardly nursery stock horticulture. And finally, our glamorous assistant, Hello. DB. Hi, DB. Hi. Woo! DB's going to have to introduce herself as well. Uh -huh. How long have you been here, DB? I have been here since March. Um, just like working here, I like the people, I like plants. Um, also kept house plants, which turns out it's not really the same thing as Hardy nursery stuff. Also, just like sitting in your room and like trimming your own plant is very different to standing on a line and trimming thousands of plants yeah. in a eight hour shift. It's a, it's a great way to uh, spend a day actually talking to some of the people that work there. They certainly make the day more interesting. And um, yeah, I look forward to every conversation that I have <laughs> at the nursery. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. First things first, well, <coughs> last, and last things last, both at the same time, just to get the ball rolling. We've got a little game, get to know us. Dee gonna draw facts about me, Max, and Megan out of a hat, and we've got to guess who answered, despite the fact there's only three of us. So we've got a 50-50 chance. <laughs> so it shouldn't be too it hard. It shouldn't be too difficult, no. First question, what is your favorite film? Uh, so Rocky. Rocky? Rocky, oh. <laughs> is that you, Max? <laughs> Do you like Rocky? I don't know. What is Rocky? You don't know. It's not me. I don't it's know what Rocky me. is. Well, you can't just say it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> well, what do you want me to like? Then we're not guessing. Oh, then we're well, not guessing who it is. I think it's Hosey. Hosey, so that's, that's well, yeah, it's be Hosey because none of us know what Rocky no, is. If you know it's not you, and you know it's not you, then you know it's me. Yeah. Yeah. Why right, we just figured out? You didn't know. Megan didn't, didn't know. You didn't know it wasn't Megan, and Megan didn't yeah. know it wasn't you. Uh -huh. Category, favourite nursery quote. I've got a sticky leg. <laughs> oh, God. A sticky leg, that's quite funny. <laughs> I think I know who it is. I think I know who it is as well. Right. Three, two, one. James. Oh! <laughs> so it is James, because James oh. didn't say anything. Am I trying to fool you? That's what who do you think it is then, James? Well, I know who it is. So. <laughs> um, we were trimming polynomials up in the top field, mm -hmm. as you do. Deep as darkest winter. Um, and we were having a very, very funny conversation about homosexual pirates. <laughs> <laughs> and, as you do. Yeah, and naturally, one of them had a sticky leg. Because they have wooden legs. I get it. And I will take... I have a sticky leg and talk to my grave. Favourite animal, polar bear. Three, two, one. Mouse. Who was it? 
Me. <laughs> They're all me at the moment. <laughs> Mix them round a bit. Is, is, there a, is there a reason as to why the polar bear is your favourite animal? Or? Is it badass? Fair enough. They're like some of the most ruthless bears. Yeah. I wouldn't want to mess with any bear, really. To the Russians, they are cuddly creatures that show up at the windows. <laughs> right? And really? beg for crackers. <laughs> <laughs> The Russians do things differently, don't they? I was going to say something and yeah. nothing came nothing came to me. Why don't polar bears eat penguins? Is it like a fact or is it a joke? Don't polar bears eat penguins? Because they can't get the wrappers off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Favourite plant? Okay. Uh, Dixonia Antarctica. Well, I don't think Max would know that one. That's a fair point. So, three. Two, one, Maybe. Rosie. Oh, I, <laughs> I did sort of give it away there by using Latin, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just thought you liked it because it said hmm? dick in it. He likes dick and he likes the Arctic. You'd be a great Eskimo. But yeah, it's a tree fern. Hmm. Soft tree fern, in case. What? Is it anything to do with the Arctic? Well, well it's, it's, found, it's found in sort of southern Australia, New Zealand. That's where most of, well, a lot of the tree ferns come from. Oh, okay. But it's lovely. Nice it's fluffy thing. trunk. Fluffy trunk, we yeah. love our fluffy trunk here. Fronds. With fronds? Yeah, firm fronds. What's fronds? Fronds, like, oh my god. Um, it's like a leaf, an unfurling of a leaf. Oh, I see, right. Is so that also. He doesn't see. No, I do not <laughs> so see. I like am... you get a shoot. Yes. A, a growing shoot or a germinating seed. Okay. The fronds grow out the top of the tree fern. Well, fronds come all all ferns. Remember, Max knows nothing about horticulture. I know, we need to pretty much as though he's a moron. What do you mean, as though as I am a moron? I think it's yeah. very apparent. Yeah. Um, what is it? Because I, I know some types of ferns, they curl up their, their sort of leaves and stems and stuff. Is that to do with photosynthesizing or curl up their leaves? And... Yeah, because like sometimes you see them where they're sort of curled up in a spiral. Yeah, but that's when they're coming out. That is the frond curling out. Oh, that is, oh, that is it growing. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I now know that. You do. And I will forget it instantly. Yeah. We need, like, facts max as well. Wait, this that's episode. actually, it's not a bad idea. Oh, favourite non-nursery plant? Lavender. Three, two, one. Hosey. Max. Max. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't sync that up very well. <laughs> but I would say it's Max. Lemon, yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, because oh, he do. We know it's Max because he didn't <laughs> answer correctly. <laughs> um, I believe the actual question, and I was too lazy to actually write it all out, was what is your favourite plant that doesn't have to be on the nursery? So it can be grown anywhere, it, or, or words to that effect. Right. And the reason why I like lavender is because it reminds me of my grandma. And because she always had lavenders in her garden, and when she passed, she used to, you know, she wrote me a note, and it was all lovely, and it had lavender scent on it. And it was like, oh, this is cool. Sweet. So every time I smell lavenders, as much as I hate processing them yeah. on A to Z, it Often reminds me of her. Them, yeah, they are a bitch. I mean, at them is pretty painful. It is, and they give me headaches every time I sniff mm -hmm. them. But you know, they're, they're, they, they have sticky a, legs, actually. Do they? Yeah. I know a pirate. No, <laughs> just sticky leg. Favorite nursery plant? Caprosma. Something dawn. Jay Z. <laughs> okay. That was I me. Work. It was you. It was. Oh me. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I don't really have a proper reason as to why that's my favorite. It's Pacific dawn, by the way. I know my handwriting is terrible. Pacific. Pacific. Not specific. No. Oh, specific. Not specific. No, it doesn't. Okay. Pacific. 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 Yeah. As in the sea. As in the ocean. Same thing. No, yeah. it's not. Oh, seas are landlocked, are they? No. No, never mind. How are seas landlocked? landlocked? Shut up. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Caprosmus Pacific, Do Pacific Dawn. Shut up, my God. <laughs> Caprosmus Pacific Dawn. Yeah. Big fan of it because it just looks cool. Yeah. I like plants that have very defined leaf coloration and, you know, th that is the main sort of draw to me because purple is one of my favourite colours. Um, and they have like, the leaves have sort of neon -y edges. Uh, yeah, the, the pink, isn't it? Yeah. Bright sort of. magenta. I also am the only one on the site to have the specific 
Caprosma Pacific Dawn because there is only there was only one that got given out to staff because there was only one left in the multi span that didn't get sold. Said person's crop, um, and I told Jeff that it was my favorite plant. I told Trent and I got to take her home. Just so said we weren't doing names. Oh, any names <laughs> uh, favorite nursery plant: Leatris blue cobalt. Three, two, one. Maisie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said that because I couldn't really remember all the other ones that I like. I'm impressed you remembered how to say the actress because that's one you really struggle with. I've been saying it so many times the past few weeks. What did I call it before? Oh, I, I can't remember. Leorotis. Leorotis. Liatrius. <laughs> yeah. All the, or literally anything other than what it actually is. Yeah. Um, but I just like it because it sort of looks fluffy when it's flowering and it's quite alien. Somebody <laughs> described it as like a microphone the yeah, other day yeah. and I can see that. I think someone also said it looked like a toilet brush, but like a really funky toilet brush. I think it looks like the plumes coming off of a rocket. You know, that's yeah, launching yeah, I see that. I see that. purple plumes. Yeah. Purple plumes. I think they're stopping doing it though. So. Yeah, we chucked them all away. No, as in permanently. Oh, permanently. So they might be growing them again. Oh, okay. I have to steal some because I really like them. Oh, Did you get some? There were loads out. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've got two in. Um, I've got two in one of my classes, so you can have one if you want. Thank you. Well, we could we could propagate it. Corms. I'm not sure how yeah. easy corms. that would be. Corm. You split them. Corm. C O R M. Like chicken corma. Like a no. no. That's K O R M A, <laughs> isn't it? Well, how is a bulb like a curry? <sighs> Sounds similar, doesn't it? Okay. That's a really. When is a raven like a writing desk? When is a corn like a curry? No, I just genuinely don't know what's going on. I'm gonna come across as the most special fucking person on the planet. That's what we want. That is, is that the drawer of the show? Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Favourite animal? Guinea pigs. Three, two, one, mega. Nice. Okay. I just had to say someone. Yeah, so. you had to say something that yeah, wasn't I think, I think. I think Josie here would keep guinea pigs. Mm. But yeah, I had guinea pigs for six years. And they're really cute. It's about them the way they like squinkle. I don't know, they're just, they're, and they're really affected. Tastes that. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm watching you. Do you still have guinea pigs? No. Oh, right. I have chickens. Mm. Uh, well, really? Um, yeah, I've got chickens. six chickens. One of them's Felicity. I know that. That's well, yeah. One How one do one. you know Felicity? I don't know her specifically. <laughs> like, we don't, well, actually, yeah, we do. We go way back. Ginger. Ginger? Yeah. Yep. I can't remember the others. Blondie. Blondie, that's it. Yeah. Tilly and Snowy. Punch. And Speckles. Fried and Speckles. <laughs> Why don't we scramble polar bears instead? <laughs> We're already doing that pretty much, so... Yeah, no, scramble a polar bear, I'd be mighty impressed. Yeah, no, they no, scramble no. you. Yeah. You scramble polar bear eggs. Polar bear that eggs. That would be a hell of a story, wouldn't it? What do you mean yeah. polar bear eggs? Memories. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, fucking eggs that they lay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's, like, better than caviar. Better than foie gras. Polar bear eggs. Polar, polar bear, bear eggs, yeah. yeah. Fave quote. White cauliflower. <laughs> One, two, three. Max. <laughs> okay, so um, explain that, Max. This was this was actually yesterday that this occurred, but you need context before this. So, as there I is, I don't a, think we do need context. No, no, no. It might. You know what? It actually might make it better if there's no context. Mm. But um, as there's been, it's been a fairly slow couple of months in dispatch. So there have been a lot of jobs to do with weeding and trimming, trimming, grading, grading, God, grading, grading, sweeping. You know, you. I think, yeah, we get the gist. Mm. Um, and don't trash talk. Sorry, 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 I didn't mean that. that sounded really <laughs> passive aggressive. I just put on my grid. Not even passive aggressive. Um, but myself and a colleague uh, to pass the time while we were weeding your hydrangeas. Actually, mm -hmm. um, we started playing to my spy. And I was getting some, I was, I was saying banger after banger after banger. I said glasses at one point and I said, this isn't relevant anyway. Um, and my coworker was getting frustrated. Um, so she wanted to give me a hard one and she said CW. And I was like, what the fuck could this be? And obviously I didn't get it. And it was a cabbage white butterfly. Fast forward to yesterday at the barbecue. I was playing frisbee with a with a with a medium sized mate, <laughs> um, and playmate. Playmates, yes, <laughs> and nothing more, nothing less. I saw said cabbage white, 
And I said to him, oh, that's a cabbage white. I bet you didn't know that. A couple of hours later, he saw a cabbage white and was like, white cauliflower. And it wasn't that because it was a cabbage white. And I just found that really funny. That was a long story for yeah, not a whole lot of punchline. No. Awesome, amazing, Thank you. yes. Thank you. Big well up, done. Big up the white yeah. cauliflower. Here we go. Favorite film, Hot Fuzz. Okay. One, okay. two, three. Max. Max. Yeah. Just a good film, isn't it? It is crap. It is. It's we, something else. We were having a conversation the other day, and it probably is 10 out of 10. Yeah. It's, I, it's, I, per, it's almost perfect, if form. not perfect. It is. And that's all that needs selling. Yeah, I mean, that's the end of that film for days. For our 100th episode Spectacular, me and Max will re, um, reenact the, the whole film. The entire film. Yeah. yeah. Most hated thing about horticulture, extreme weather. Three, two, one, Max. Josie. Oh. I actually don't know. It was me. Oh. Yeah. Because this gets hot, doesn't it? Yeah. And you can't. And then it gets fing cold. It gets hot and fing cold. And rainy. And rainy. And there's not really much you can do windy. about it except take it. Yeah. Unless, you know, you just kind of, it's just kind of the luck of the draw where you get put. If you're in dispatch under the cover of, of Dispatch HQ. Then you're probably fine. You mean the pit of despair? The pit of despair. Yeah. Seventh circle of hell. So, yeah. So you're probably fine in there, regardless of the weather. But you know, if you're out potting in the top field, where there's almost no surrounding protection from the elements, it's quite miserable. So, I like the rain, though. Do you not like standing in the rain? <laughs> well, not when I'm trying to work and it's getting all horrible and I'm sweating my ass off because of all the. And then you've got too many clothes on. Just get wet. No! Yeah. Because, well, I'm going to rain regardless, I suppose, but... Because then you can come home, have a shower, satisfy... I'd, I'd rather just not get wet. But you work outside, to begin you with. have to get wet. Yeah. Do you not like working in the sun? No, I do. But not in the extreme heat, as I've said. Okay. So, well, extreme weather. I, either side extreme of the extreme weather. Tornadoes. Yes. Tsunamis. Yeah, they're, yeah, well, second to earthquakes, I think, because earthquakes can oh, cause tsunamis. God, every week, yeah. Every week. Every time it takes a step, cut that off. Where for next holiday? <laughs> <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> wow. One, two, three. Max. Yeah. You can tell that it's me just by how lazy the writing is. <laughs> um, yeah, well, because I'm quite literally going to Ireland and I will be going there for. Wait, no, I will be going there from the 12th to the 16th of August. So anyone can stalk him? So there anyone, yeah. feel free. Get, yeah. to, get to Dublin Airport. Rock up to Dublin. <laughs> yeah. Not going to say my flight. Is that, where, is that where you're going, Dublin? <laughs> That's yeah. That's really nice. Dublin is a nice Yeah, yeah. well, we're not staying in Dublin, but we're going to, um, I think it's Louth, which is north by about an hour or so. Okay. What exact hotel are you staying at? Oh, it's not a hotel. I'm staying with one of my friends. Can you give us the address? Not on podcast, but you're welcome to rock up anytime just to check in. No, that's fine. Yeah. You're doing Guinness? No, I think I have to have a Guinness in Ireland. It yeah, it's better. like the worst drink that I've had, and oh, it just doesn't taste. I don't like any beer really. Just get on with it, it's delicious. Right. I'll get absolutely shit faced. Try not to fall off a cliff. Yeah, get a tattoo. I got a tattoo in Ireland. Nice. Uh, Won't be doing that, but okay. you know, it's a good, it's a good shout. Even I have a sticky leg. <laughs> if you do get one, okay, so you well. will be filming it, right? You right. can be a Pokemon if you want. In fact, Ooh. it. I'll pay. I'll pay for you to get a tattoo. Oh, any? Can I get like an entire body tattoo? So with a limit to... of fifty pounds. What the fuck? Can I get what? Like a dot? That, that cost me fifty pound. Euros. Euro. Yeah. Okay. I'll bear it in mind. But that was ten years ago. Uh, where you want to go on holiday? Thailand. Three, two, one. Hosey. Hosey. What makes you think it's Hosey? Thought that he would choose New Zealand. As that's what he's yeah, but doing. he's been there so many times, and he did say that. Um, why would you go back to the same place again? Yeah, so why would I go back to Thailand? <laughs> I didn't know he'd been to Thailand. It's Megan. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know why I chose Thailand, but there's loads of places <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to. Exactly. The world is endless. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it just seems like it's where a lot of people go. There have a lot of plants there because all the the jungles and yeah, tropical. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. We'd love to do that. See the plants, all the plants. Cool. Yeah. We love plants. Mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the mushrooms. Beaches. Mushrooms in tropical forests are incredible. Cocaine. What? 
I don't know enough about it to like be a sauce or anything, but I'm just mushroom yeah. sauce. Mushroom sauce. You are my mushroom sauce, sauce now. Sauce. Okay. Well, I have to read up on the subject then. So. Okay, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Safe place to work in the nursery, the chapel. <laughs> One, two, three, negative. Yeah. Well, is is a great place to work, actually. Yeah. Because, because I'm not in there. It's because you're not in there. Yeah. Um, definitely. Yeah. And that second reason is because you're not in there. Yep. Third reason is because I don't have to work with you. No, no. I, I like working in the chapel because it's um warm. It's kept warm in the winter and it's really warm, and it's quite a nice secluded area away from people, and you can just chill and do nice. just do you get on with your tasks Why and. Are you called the chapel? Uh, because it's inside. Well, it's because it's because it's where their sacrifices happen. You see, oh, see. it's all coming together. Yeah. So it's one of those chapels. But it's in the it's in the greenhouse. It's a greenhouse within a greenhouse. But it's right at the end, so it looks like if crypt, you went to a church. Yeah, if you were in a I church. Can see it now. Can't see anything. So why is DRT? <laughs> we can't mock. Don't mock the afflicted, Max. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> To Jeremy Clarkson, right? I shouldn't steal people's lives. You shouldn't do that. Um, oh, I'm not going to have a career. <laughs> <laughs> it's never going to get on Gardner's World at this point. Yeah. It's never going to be Don Monty. No, Don Monty. Don Monty. <laughs> Walking around in his white jacket, slacks. <laughs> the attack dogs at his heels. <laughs> uh, Favourite animal, Kingfisher. Three, two, one. Max. Max. Yeah, because everyone's already said that. Process yeah. of elimination. Yeah. Why kingfisher, mate? Um, Why not cabbage white? Why not oh, a white I should have cabbage white, oh my god. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I just think, it was a tough one for me because I, I flip-flop between kingfishers and dragonflies because I think dragonflies are cool. And kingfishers are cool. I like the colour scheme of kingfishers more though because yellow and or or orange and blue. Just kind of That would cool. be like me picking seals or polar bears. Why? Because kingfishers eat dragonflies. You pick their main life. Well, of food. It's quite funny. Or guinea pigs and humans. <laughs> That's not their main source of food. It'd be like some predatory. Well, it's like... in South America, honestly. They do serve. Right, let's move along away yes. from that. Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I didn't actually talk about kingfishers, I just talked about guinea pigs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I like the colour scheme and I saw one you're once. Iridescent. Yeah. Iridescent. Yeah, we're yeah. that short. They're iridescent and beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so the category is Gardener's World and the answer is I don't know anything about it. Well, I wonder who that could be. One, two, three. Max. Max. So, Megan, why was it you? Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> um, We've literally got kind nothing of to say on that. Does what it says on the tin, really. Yeah. I, I hadn't heard of it before today. I don't know what it is. It's a TV programme. Is it not one of the most popular shows, though, um, on the BBC? In horticulture. Probably. Mm -hmm. I imagine it, it gets good viewing. It's, I mean, it's like very famous, isn't it? People watch it the world over, honestly. Yeah. It's, it's been around for years and years. I'm not exactly in the, in the horticultural loop, shall we say. Yeah, do you have a TV? Yeah. You don't have to be in the loop. Well, I don't watch... I haven't watched TV for quite a few years, which okay. I think is... Apart from Below Deck. Apart from Below Deck. But that's what you've done. You've on Netflix. Yeah, that's below true. Deep, mate. Below Deck. Really? I went in your deck yeah. last night. Why? What do you think of when you hear Gardener's World? Uh, old people and posh gardens. One, two, one, two, Megan. three, Megan. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's not much more I can say than that. It's, um, it's equally true, both things. Posh gardens check because they're the ones that people they're the people that can afford to have nice gardens mm -hmm. to show on that they have their own gardeners and stuff they're all landscaped and everything who can afford that normal people less likely to afford them they have started um trying to reach out a little bit and people send in their own videos now yeah. um of, of like their tiny two meter by two meter patio north facing patio in I don't know. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That is good. I know what you mean. Just lean in. Lean into the mic. This is quite a nice mic. Hello. Yeah. How are you today? Love a bit of ASMR. <sighs> Got no mic. That was good. You think golfing? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Could do a bit of mic scratch. It's lumpy. You just gulped it down. Yeah. And the mic picked it up. Did it? That's your ASMR. Sexy. What a f***ing treat. 
Shit, that was incredible. Uh, you just get hotter and hotter. It is pretty hot in this room. It is fucking yeah. stifling. Best thing working in horticulture. Working outside and the laid back atmosphere. Three, two, one, Megan. Megan. Yep. It is what it is. Didn't Again. even try to resist. No. no. I mean, it's the most chill place I've ever worked. <laughs> And it's nice to be outside. I couldn't stand an office job. I don't think I could do it anymore. Just sitting at your desk all day in an office with the same people, doing the same tasks, nine till five. I mean, the hours are longer, I think, kind of. In the winter, our hours are shorter. Mm. So it's yeah, even, it's yeah. About the same. But there's a lot of change and, and stuff going on. And it's the variety, I think, is what is a, yeah. one of the biggest pull factors, at least for me. Yeah. It's just, you know, every day is a fresh new day unless you're stuck on A to Z. Yeah, doing the same job yeah. every day. Yeah. Ideal holiday desti- destination, Kyrgyzstan. Well, I mean, I can't even spell it. So. Oh, Kazakhstan. Because <laughs> um, why would you want to go to Kazakhstan when you could go to Kyrgyzstan? He's got a point. It does yeah. have a normal amount of Zs in it. Where's the one that um, that guy's from? That's Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Borat. Yeah. yeah. And then Borat. Um, is immediately recognisable as Borat. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. It's just different. Tall mountains, glacial lakes. You're describing Norway. <laughs> he, 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 I was going to say history, but that describes Norway as well. <laughs> just something about the former Soviet states really intrigued me. And if I was to pick one, it would probably be Kyrgyzstan. What do you hate about working in horticulture? The winter. Three, two, one. Mads. Well, yeah, it is me. <laughs> it's dark when you arrive and it's dark when you leave and it's cold, it's miserable and freezing. And did I say cold? Yeah. Yeah, well, you should <laughs> say it again. Yeah, yeah, I'll count that twice. Yeah. Double cold. Yeah. Especially when it's raining, windy and it's freezing. It sucks. You're damp all the way through. Short weather, that is. Some people don't wear shorts all year round. Nobody so, does, really. No. But... Apart from you. Favourite place to work? Field. One, two, three. Max. This is because I said it. Yeah, oh, I was wrong. Yeah. Did tell us. That. Yeah. Why the top field, Max? Well, it's not really. You're not listening to music up there, are you? No. Because that's against the rules. It is, and I would never do something like that. You're not sitting on the ground poking the MyFX with snips, are you, Max? No. Because that's against the rules. I probably have done that time to time, actually, <laughs> for being honest. I went up there once and somebody was scraping a, a pair of snips against the pathway to try and sharpen them. And that shows you how great the equipment yeah, is exactly. that we're given. Yeah. No, top field is like, if you're weeding and it's a nice chill day, the weather's not too hot, not too cold, there's a nice breeze. It's, it's quite nice because you can, you're sort of, separated from the entire nursery mm. and it's quite tranquil it's good if you can shut the gates as well because then you can always hear somebody coming yeah i don't know why you need to do that if you're not listening to music just privacy because i can't see people coming oh is that is that where your verbenas are <laughs> you <laughs> you're max and the verbenas they are close no they're in the bin now to once oh they are so shit are they honestly well we could christen yeah. them to make them less shit. no we're not christening anything okay get that out of your head now <laughs> i can't it's burned in there now. Best thing about horticulture, trials. Rigid. Oh, I know who said this. Max. Megan. No, it was me. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, well, it's trials, isn't it? But you've never been there. I've never been there, but I've... I don't know how you can say that's the best thing when you've never done it. Well, in some uneventful, boring day where we didn't go to the breeding cabin and get brownies, yeah. I saw a peak and it was just the, it was like staring at yeah, you didn't step over the threshold I didn't no I, I, I was really spe- I didn't even put my arm over I could see the look of horror on Clarinette's face <laughs> when you when, when they you got- when, when you were there mm-hmm. you're like fine with me and she's like yeah holy shit Max is there I am shut the gate quick yep we'll have to do the old men in black red flashing light <laughs> thing to remember to forget everything you were seeing yeah but um yeah it's just a I imagine it's a very magical place full of magical people that don't want me there unless I'm there to be sacrificed. But, you know, full of pixies and leprechauns. Exactly. Where it would be full of a leprechaun if I would be there. Are the secrets kept in trials really that exciting and They're so exciting. It doesn't matter what their secret's about. It's just the fact that I don't know it and I don't like Mm -hmm. that. So I want to I want to uncover the mystery. Do you think if the word got out, if the secrets were unleashed? All havoc will break loose. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people will die. Black holes Earthquakes. Will start emerging everywhere. Yeah. It'll be the apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. They're breeding Godzilla. Shh. You don't have to tell.
tell everyone. I was going to discover that yeah. myself. Yeah. Plantzilla. Plantzilla. Yeah. Very exciting. We can we can come up with a better name than Plantzilla though. No, we can't. I definitely think we can. Bloomin' Onion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Favourite plant, Tradescantia palladia variegata. Megan, Megan. Yes, well, it's a very pretty plant, especially in a lot of sunlight. And um, that's all there is to it. Love a Tradescantia. It's what it is. It's so easy to propagate as well. That's the one that we're doing. No, it's not. No, it's not. But no. you, you, you... I, wouldn't, I wouldn't waste it on you. Wow. Yeah. Charming. <laughs> Fair enough. You right. feature Tradescantias quite a lot on your Instagram, though, don't you? Yes, yeah, because I have an awful lot of them. Yeah. If you want to plug the Instagram, yeah, plug it on my instagram at forest interior uk on instagram yeah and on tiktok without the uk me and max will be um eventually wearing uh some t-shirts yes oh, yeah. my other website yeah the dappled forest.com yeah. dappled forest for pete's sake for pete's sake that's one of the that's one of the shirts Is it? yeah All right. that i wore the other day because no. i was doing pete pete free stuff no. favorite quote from the nursery person one what's that person two it's a plant so this was someone who has left the nursery they uh couldn't order this plant to their house so they ordered it to the main office and when they went to collect the plant there was a group of the office staff surrounding the plant and wondering what it was and so when he was asked he said it's just a, it's a plant it's none of their business it's a plant it looks like a plant it is a plant Technically, no lies were lied. No lies were, no lies were, no lies were lied, as they say. If it quacks like a plant. Yeah. yeah. So, was the plant visible? Could they see the plant? Or was um, there, the there were holes, yeah. There were holes. And there was um, a diagram on the side of a plant. Okay. Was and it, it said plant on the side of it. <laughs> and it said the botanical name and stuff. It's got its passport. Okay. So. That might just go to show that our office staff have no idea. I just slacked off the office. <laughs> I'll stand by that. I just can't read your writing, so I'm guessing it's Max. Probably. Horticultural hate. The waste on all levels. Environmental aspect as well. I mean, I have sprayed, but I don't like it. I don't like killing the bees. Yeah. I know the other sprayers don't Yeah, like bee killer. killer. Yeah. Barry B. Benson will be on to you. Barry B. Benson. You like jazz? And um, the levels of plastic, wasted plastic, single-use plastic in the industry is genuinely shocking. I know we are producing plants, we are doing good for the environment. I sound like I'm about to cry, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. <clears throat> he is about to cry. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really hot in here. Yeah. It's, it's just awful. But I will say, as a sprayer, one of my old managers once came up to me and said, congratulating me on a good kiln. And there's not many other jobs out there <laughs> where, I'm gonna, where somebody will come up to you and go, good kill, James. Good kill. Good kill. Good shot. Maybe a mafia boss. Maybe. An assassin. Yeah, yeah. Sa yeah. A professional gamer yeah. of some sort. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But not many. Not many. But yeah. It's kill. shocking how many times you've got like a field of thousands of plants and it's just like, we're not selling these, we're going to chuck them. Yeah. You could just give them out for free, right? Yeah. Mm. But that will saturate the market and bring the price down. Mm. And it will make all the people that bought those plants from the nursery angry that they pay, like, paid for them. I can give my mum 30 lavenders. <laughs> it's, it's competing. We had this conversation with one of the managers and they were just not up to it. But we were saying, oh, oh, you could supply landscapers that are ordering 500 plants that want them, like really big ones like the hibiscus and the daphnes and stuff um, that would pay premium, maybe £35 for a plant. They, they would sell it for 70 like the big ones yeah. um and and he was like no so that was and if they had sold that many like 500 plants daphne plants the really big ones for 35 pounds that's seventeen thousand five hundred pounds that's in the bin that's incredible and that could have gone into staff wages and that could have gone into recruitment for new staff it could have gone into making an actual canteen so you don't have to use part of a greenhouse mm -hmm. Or yep. breathing asbestos. Yep. Yeah. Or buy Pokemon cards. So change is nine horticulture, I think. I do have a question actually. Where does the compost go? The green waste. Yeah. It, it's given to a farmer, um, and they use they 
Yeah. They they still have to pay for it to be taken away. Yeah. So the more green waste you have, the more you pay. It's the same with the recycling. So if you have less recycling because you've maybe spent more on reusable stuff, it would actually cost them less in the long run. But it's they're just not. They're not thinking about the long term. No, okay. it's all about now profits. Now I'm not going to be here in ten years, so why bother? But it it, it all I think it just gets um, composted down and goes back into the system as it were. So hang on. You've heard of Question Time, but you've not heard of Garden as well. Yes, that's incredible. So question Time's on later. <laughs> Favorite film, Lord of the Rings. Who's he? Who's he? Megan. Who's he? Megan. It is me. Oh. Yeah. Trilogy. Really? Why do you sound shocked? No. I just thought it was just a question. It would be something that. Um, for well, because I didn't really have a favorite film, but it's one that I was absolutely obsessed with for like years, and um, the the writings of Tolkien. I've got Middle Earth poster still up in my room. Obviously, like Aragon. Actually, everyone likes Aragon. Legolas, you know. He's my I mean, cousin. I see the resemblance. Yep. <laughs> I will actually get a photo of my cousin just to prove that it is. By the way, Sun can. Yeah. Yeah. Met your cousin Orlando Bloom. Yes. Yes. Isn't it quite easy to get photos? I'll just Google them now. <laughs> yeah. I'll just Google them now. Yeah. Best thing in horticulture, vitamin D. Thank you. Posey. <laughs> yeah. Well, he likes to keep his lower legs vitamin D'd. Yeah. <laughs> and my lower arms. Yeah, it's a good look. And my shoulders. Sexy. Farmer's tan. Proper farmer's tan. Proper. That's all I want. That I worked in. I worked in Iceland for eight years, tucked away in a freezer, minus 25, ice dripping off my beard unable to see anything and then I travelled and did a bit of work outside and I thought this is a life for me. I'd rather be herding sheep around a field. Yeah, wouldn't we all? In West Sussex, deepest darkest West Sussex. Horticulture is here, so here I am, getting my vitamin D. It's okay. the craziest thing you've ever done, Max. It's climbing up an abandoned factory that's oh, right. sort of asbestos ridden. Oh, whereabouts? Um, in Red Hill. Sorry, if I... Is it in Surrey? DB's neck of the woods. Surrey was born. There you go. He's very tall in Surrey. Yeah. You might have been there. You didn't smash any... I of have been there I was born there. <laughs> <laughs> you might have been there. <laughs> I'm in the factory. But no, I imagine you have been to Red Hill at some point. Um, she was born there. Shut up! You didn't smash any of their asbestos, did you? Uh, no, but I did inhale quite a bit. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, probably. This might be why I'm quite not with it. Okay. Horticultural well, we'll challenge. Keep, we'll, we'll, yeah. keep, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> um, that doesn't fill me with great confidence. <laughs> when was this? When was it? Yeah. Uh, when did you. Um, oh, this okay. was years ago, like when I was 16. Why? Why did you go there? Um, because I have a friend who lives in that area. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Asbestos friend. <laughs> he, he wanted to take me somewhere, and I was like, okay. So I followed him, being. Very impressionable. Easily led. Yes. I'd be very easy to kidnap. Would you like some strawberries? <laughs> oh yes, please. <laughs> I'd do it for a grape, to be fair. Not green grapes, red grapes. But yeah, no, we just kind of went there, and I was like, okay, this is sketch as fuck. But I've got a sign that is very sort of dilapidated. And Major asbestos? Yes. In my room, where I sleep every night. Nice. Have you given it a good scrub? Does that get rid of asbestos? I don't know. Yeah, it's, don't it's, my, it's under my bed, and it has been for the past Four or five. This is radiating. It's explaining a lot of things about it. It yeah. might exp Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the sign wouldn't be made of asbestos. No, I would assume not. It's probably metal or plastic. But it could have like. It was metal. There might be dust on it. Dust it was, it was cool because it's like a mint green colour. And that's the only reason why. What does it say? I can't. I don't know. Okay. I genuinely don't know. I'd maybe throw that away. No, oh, it's cool. We'll put it outside. I think it's probably too far gone at this point. Favourite place to work? C17. James. It's gotta be, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was my favourite place up until somebody else moved in a few days ago, and now I am angry. The fact that they've just taken over my cloche, which is my favourite cloche, because one end's like got a windbreak around it, so it's a bit stouter than all the others, and it's a good place to hide when it's raining. Even during, in re when it's really hot, like the other day when we had our heat wave, it must have been like 45 degrees, and it was so satisfyingly sweaty. Sounds like extremely dangerous. So like, smashing through asbestos ridden factories. Fair, yeah, you know what, you know. Each to their own, huh? Yeah. Favourite nursery plant? Crinodendron. That's oh, the, the, um, um, flowers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me why. Yeah. Just really nice. I, I had to grow those out in the fucking heat wave. That was dreadful. I did, I did buy two a few years ago and they both died. Oh. So, 
Maybe I'll buy another one. Maybe it's not meant to be. Yeah. Unrequited. What do you think of Re Gardener's World? The middle classes. Hosey. Yeah, it's the only one. I mean, that pretty much sort of is the same as your yes. voice. I love Gardener's World, but it's quite elitist. Perhaps Max can change that. Yeah, maybe. Working class hero. Yeah. Yeah. Big up. Yeah. But yeah, there's not a lot of points to add on to Gardener's World. Is it changing, or do you think it's going to... I think it's got duller. I think it's got boring. I think they're trying to adapt to a COVID audience who have started, you know, they got out into their gardens and got obsessed with gardening. And it feels as though they've dumbed it down. They don't seem to take risks. I hate to sound like an old man, but it's not as good as it used to be. You are an old man, so it's fine. That's true. I'm not that old. What have you learned today, Max? Um, oh my god. I have learned, I've learned that I've probably inhaled way too much asbestos than yeah. the average part. Do you know there's a town in Canada called Asbestos? Is there? Yeah, it's a big Asbestos mine there. I've learned that your favourite plant is... Dixonia Antarctica. Dixonia. Dixonia in Antarctica. Damn right. You, you wouldn't want to be in Antarctica. <laughs> You'd have frostbite in no time. Yeah. You'd probably pee well, a frozen stream. I'm sure I can warm yours up for you. Don't. <laughs> I love you, Monty, really. I do yeah. like you. Our ultimate goal is to get you on Gardener's World. Be it a 10 minute stint talking about your apprenticeship. Yeah. Apprentice. 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 Um, I think we should quiz him as well along the way, his apprenticeship way. Yeah. Well, There'll be plenty of plant quizzes. Latin names to remember. Brilliant. You have to learn at least 10 or something. At least 10. Yeah. Latin trees. We could stick some photos up on my yeah. chimney breast. Max is going to be the next Monty dog. Watch him grow. Yeah. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Oh, uh.